What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. So while we have the keys to the Nissan Frontier Pro 4X for the week, we decided to swing through Randy Marion Ford to put it head to head with the Ranger FX4 to see how these two trucks compare. So these are really good competitors. Let's get right into it. So to start with what is powering each of these trucks, over on the Ford Ranger, you're gonna find a 2.3 liter inline four cylinder turbocharged engine with 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque. And it is paired to a 10 speed automatic transmission. Over on the Nissan Frontier, you get a 3.8 liter V6 engine pumping out 310 horsepower and 281 pound-feet of torque, all paired to a nine-speed transmission. So we basically get 40 more horsepower on the Nissan, but about 30 more pound-feet of torque over on the Ford. So pretty interesting to see the flip-flop in the power. It'll be interesting to drive both of these trucks. Curb weight, the Ford is around 4,400 pounds, while the Nissan's a little bit heavier, closer to 4,700 pounds. Towing and payload capacity is also pretty similar on the two trucks, depending on which suspension setup you get, which trim level. Both trucks are going to range from around 3,000 to maybe 7,000 pounds for towing, and then payload capacity is going to be around 1,500 for each truck. So for some of the off-road capabilities, the approach angle on the Nissan is 32 degrees, breakover is 23 degrees, and then the departure angle is also 23 degrees, with minimum ground clearance at 8.7 inches. The Ranger is pretty similar, however, it is not quite as sharp up front. We get 29 degrees for the approach angle, 22 degree breakover angle with 25 degrees departure, and then nine inches of ground clearance. So both are very similar. You just get a little bit better approach angle over on the Nissan and a little bit better departure on the Ford. So to take a quick look at the overall exterior styling of both of these trucks, those are subjective, of course. You know, this is what the Pro 4X looks like. It is a really good looking truck, I will say. I like how the headlights have the DRLs in the top and bottom. You get a nice black grille, forward facing camera, red on the Nissan. Really good looking truck. You get red tow hooks, skid plate down below. Definitely a nice setup, very off-road focused. Ford Ranger, you also get tow hooks, fog lights. A little bit more simple, I would say. I think the Nissan does look a little bit sharper. But nonetheless, pretty nice looking trucks. Side profile, these are both gonna be crew cabs. So we have the full four-door configuration. You can get a good look at the side profile for the Ford. Coming around to the back, you can see the red design and color for these taillights. Ranger is stamped into the tailgate. And then taking a look at the side profile, they both look very similar. I do like the sharp lines on the Nissan. I think they did a lot of good designs to it. A lot of nice sharp styling. You can get a good look at the two different trucks with all the lines they offer. And I really like the rear end of the Nissan especially. I think they have a lot of new styles, but keep in mind the Ford Ranger is nothing new. This is from a European truck. So I would assume the new generation Ford Ranger is gonna have a lot more up-to-date styles. So as far as the interior goes here on the Ford Ranger, you can get a really good understanding of how it's all laid out. Nice looking interior, nothing too crazy fancy, but you know, we have your shifter, four wheel drive selection, locking rear differential, off-road settings, downhill assist. So you definitely get a lot of the cool features, screen up top, and while this one has fabric seats, of course leather is an option, but there's a good look at how the Ford Ranger looks on the interior. Let's head on over to the Nissan and check out this interior. This particular spec does get the leather seats with the Pro 4X. And then you can see the steering wheel with all the controls, you get some red accents. You get a large nine inch screen in the center with all of your controls. You can see all of that with your shifter. So both have pretty nice looking interiors. Let's move on to the back seat and seat space itself. So sitting back here, we do get some cargo on the back side of the front seats. And I really like how we get an armrest that'll fold down with two cup holders in here. And then the same leather design on these backs of the seats. So sitting now in the back of the Nissan Frontier, it's a little cramped sitting back here. The backrest is pretty straight up and down. But nonetheless, you know, it's decent back here. I have a pretty good amount of headroom. You get a grab handle on this top part as well. 
Um, pretty good view out with all the glass. You have a manual sliding rear glass right there. Knee room with this seat set at my height. My knees are touching. So I'd say it's just a little bit cramped back here, but other than that, you know, it's not too bad for maybe like an hour long road trip. All right, so sitting now in the Ford Ranger. So headroom I'd say is about the same. Knee room, maybe a little bit better knee room in this one. And the recline of these seats is a little bit nicer. We also do get a spot in the center that you can open up. We have two cup holders here and a nice armrest. So I like that Ford has that as well. All right, so we are in the Ford Ranger and we do have a little bit of off-road contours we can play with just to test out a little bit of the articulation in each of these trucks and how they work with all that. So going down a little angle here, you can probably get a good view of everything. So the suspension in this FX4 absorbs the bumps really well. You really didn't even feel much of the body flex going down that. And then getting up to some speed on the normal road now. It does rev up a little bit, about 4,000 RPM between shifts. But then as far as just normal driving, it's a nice smooth truck for sure. To take a look at the interior, uh, you have this little bit smaller screen comparing it to the Nissan Frontier and then all your basic controls down below. Uh, nice steering wheel layout with all your buttons and everything like that. You do feel pretty high up off the ground. It's pretty comfortable overall for sure. Good view out the front, you know, good visibility all around. Most pickup trucks are gonna have pretty good visibility for sure. You can feel that torque. I mean, you give it a little bit of gas. I mean, it's got some grunt to it. It really does get up to some speed pretty quickly, especially in that lower RPM. The ride quality seems pretty good. There's a little bit of road noise I can hear, but it's not really too bad. The brakes do a really good job from a higher speed. And let's test out turning circle. All the way cranked. I did not even hit the dirt right there. So pretty good turning circle. Both of these trucks have a near identical wheelbase. So I will say under first driving impressions on this, the engine does seem to rev out a little bit. And um, with that, you know, it doesn't sound the best being a four cylinder. So I will knock the Ford Ranger on engine sound and the fact that it just kind of revs out a little bit. You do get a lot of power down low. You really can feel that. It'll be interesting when I hop into the Nissan. All right, so coming back to the gravel, let's test out four wheel drive. So getting up to the gravel, I do like how the suspension is nice and soft. So from here, let's go into neutral. And then we have four high, and then we can go into four low. It comes up on there, we'll say okay on that. The TM button, we have terrain modes, we have normal, grass, gravel, snow, mud ruts, and then a sand mode. Let's go to the grass gravel, because we're literally on gravel. We have locking differential. I can tap that icon, but then from there, let's try four wheel drive low and see how well this crawls. Nice slow speed crawling. And then we'll get up the steeper part right now. Good angle. No wheel spin or anything like that. So really nice, you know, good overall truck. All right, so in the Nissan Frontier Pro 4X, we'll do the same test. Already the steering wheel is actually way heavier, wow. So coming down this little bit of an angle. You know, the nice soft suspension does a really good job. You don't feel any of the flex. And all the gravel and everything, it feels really nice on it, just like you found in the Ford. I do like the heavier steering wheel in the Nissan though. I think that feels a lot nicer. And then in here, four wheel drive selectors over here, which we'll test that once we get back onto this section. All right, very smooth off-road. And then getting back up to speed on the main road. So it shifts a little under 4,000. It doesn't quite rev out or ring out the engine as much as the four-cylinder. I think that's probably the biggest downfall you get when you go for a four-cylinder engine in a heavy truck. 
It sounds a lot nicer too in this comparing it to the Ranger just because you get the normal V6 instead of a smaller displacement engine. But ride quality, just as comfortable I would say. I'd say maybe about the same amount of wind noise and road noise. These both have all-terrain tires on them too. And then as far as the interior on this, this one of course is a little bit higher trim level so we do have the leather, you know, some nice uh, vinyl accents all around it. Much larger screen of course, and then all your climate controls. A little bit less cluttered I would say. I think the Ford, a little bit more cluttered looking. Uh, I really do like the steering wheel on this and the gauge cluster has a much larger screen in the center. Yeah, this has a much more beefy tone to the engine. So now let's do the same turnaround and with that heavy steering wheel, let's see if we notice a difference. Yeah, so I'd say about the same turning circle and everything. Slow speed, I think the lighter steering is actually better in the Ford just because it's less effort to turn the wheel. But when you're driving, I do like the heavier feel of the Nissan. So I guess steering feel would be 50-50 depending on which one you like better because each one is going to have a benefit and a con. So then coming back to the gravel area, we'll get up over these bumps. <laughs> Both trucks, the traction control came on first getting onto it. So with this one, we'll go into neutral again. So four high and you push it down into four low. And then the other buttons are over here for the downhill assist, uh, traction control, and locking differential. So from here, put in drive, and I love how at this slow speed, we now have a front view camera that came on, and you can toggle this and uh, see the top down or 360 view. So with this one, like the other one, the low range is really nice. And let's get right up this grass area. Oh yeah, just the same. Obviously that's not the craziest off-roading. But yeah, Nissan Frontier is definitely a nice truck and uh, can handle the same thing for the off-road. So there's a good look at the Nissan Frontier versus the Ford Ranger. Both are definitely really nice trucks. They each have some pros and cons. I think the Nissan does edge it out a little bit. The interior and exterior design is much more up to date. Ford, I'm sure, is really close to a redesign on this truck. The turbo engine does pack a really good punch down low, but you can feel the more pep in the higher horsepower figures on the V6, and it sounds a little bit better. The lighter steering feel on the Ford is nice for the slow speed, but I do like the heavier steering feel. Both trucks with the off-road settings, you know, the four-wheel drive, locking differential, they both have plenty of settings to have some fun off-road, which I think is a really good touch. But overall, those are two great trucks in this market. Can't go wrong with either one. I do think the Nissan, though, is definitely a step above. But hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content. I'll see you guys in the next video.